Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Recently the good folks at Saint Smart sent me this Wi-Fi module to use uh, and review with my Jinmitsu 4040 Reno. So today's video I'm going to be getting this installed and kicking the tires on it. Okay here's what uh, what was in the box here. We've got the uh, U232 wireless control module right here and it's got a little uh, plastic enclosure. enclosure. Um, you get a USB JTAG cable which I think is this one here. It also comes with another cable with a different plug on it here. Looks like an 8 pin plug. Uh, yeah, eight pin JTAG cable is what they're calling this one. It says it has an SD card. Now notice the SD card is already pushed in here. Um, and okay, that looks like it. So following the directions here, it shows situation one is for the CNC models. Um, the Pro Series 3018 Pro, 3020 Pro Max, Prover Series 3018 Prover, and several others. Uh, so it looks like mine is not going to be that one there. Mine is going to be over here. It says Situation 2, Connect from Back, the Pro Series 3020 Pro Max V2, 4040 Reno, which is what this is, the 4040 Pro. Uh, anyway, so you've got a couple of different... Uh, ways to do it depending on how uh, which model you have so it now looks like uh, first thing I've got to do is remove these screws I think there's two on top and it looks like there it feels like there's two on the bottom and I have to pull this case off and then we'll get on to the next step okay I've got to pull this little uh, cover off here so we'll see if we can get that off there. Okay, according to the directions, it looks like I have to pull this board loose uh, to get to the back of it here. So it looks like, I probably have my head in the way here, but it looks like there's three or four screws that are holding this board on. These are Phillips. So I'm going to try to get that off without losing the screws. I've already taken this one out before I turn the camera on and let's see one over here this probably gonna have to unplug this cable back here Should have already done, I guess. Oh, and I've got it all connected with wire ties to hold that down. Let's see if I can get this off. I don't think I can back it up enough. I'm going to have to clip those. Okay, so I've got my little snips here. Got that loose. Now let's see. Okay, now I can get to the back of this board. Yeah, they put the. Uh, let me make sure you can see this. Yeah, they put the uh, Wi-Fi on the back of this board way back here, so you have to pull all this off. 
to get to it. So I think I've got to use the this cable here, the four pin. And according to the directions here, it's got a little blown up drawing saying that the red, which is here, needs to be on the left. So it's got to go this way. Yeah, the red would be the five volt. The ground is on the far right. That would be the black one. So we'll, I hope this is picking up. Let me get that slid in. Okay, now let's see where this side goes. It must go to this little module here. Again, the five volts gonna be the red. So make sure you have your plug turned the correct way. We've got that plugged in there. Now, okay, now it shows me to, uh, well, let's see here. Install the case back on. Okay, that's all they say. So, looks like that's all I need to do is now Slide this card back down in here. I'm not sure how that's supposed to go. Maybe like that. Okay, let's see if we can get. Let's see. There we go. screws are so tiny it's gonna be hard to okay it looks like my screwdriver is a little bit magnetic okay so there we go got that one Definitely helps to have a uh, magnetic type screwdriver or have the tip of it because you're not going to be able to hold these screws pretty much without one. Right, one more to get in. wire ties out and I'll replace those but I want to make sure this plug is going to go back in here and it does so I'll come back later on and put some new uh, wire ties on there now I'm not really sure where you're supposed to put this without getting that pinched. Let me go back and look at the directions and see if it said. Okay, it shows it coming down underneath, but it seems like that's all closed up. I may have to uh, Take this one loose. And pull these. Let's see if I can get 
that past there a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna leave them. I'm wondering if you could bring it through this hole right here. I'm gonna try that. Let's see. Because I just don't want to get those wires pinched. Okay, yeah, it looks like that's that's the best place to put it. I hope the camera is picking that up. It looks like it is. It is bringing them right out there beside that because there's really no other hole. You know, you just don't want to get those things pinched. So let me uh, go ahead and fasten this back on. So let's get back to this and again I want to put the red wire where the 5 volts is. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I've got the uh, the app all installed on my phone, and I think I've got it configured right. Uh, let me turn the power on. We've got the Jinmitsu icon right there. Let's hit it. It searches for the machine. There it takes a second, but it found it right there. It says GMT underscore Gerbil. So we'll turn that on. And then we want to hit this little right arrow button, and that takes me to the jog controller here, or the pre-jog safety checklist. It's got a bunch of stuff to read. I'm just going to hit confirm all because I already know that all that's okay. Then I want to go to, it says unlock and auto home or unlock only. Since I still need to home and it's not quite all the way home, we'll hit unlock and auto home. There it's now home, so I'll hit ready. <coughs> and that takes me to the uh, jog screen, and we can test out some stuff here. Here, let's hold the uh, left arrow down and see if we can jog it over a little bit. Let's, uh, let's set the speed up a little higher. And then let's do move the Y up a little bit and then we'll uh, let's see let's bring the Z down a little bit okay now you can see your workplace coordinates you probably can't read this on this video but work, work workplace coordinates and machine coordinates I'm going to zero out to uh, start a job right here at this location, so I'll hit the X zero. It pops up a warning for each one of these, but that's now turned to zero. Uh, let's see, it's got X, Y, and Z zero. Let's see if I hit that, it'll probably do them all. Yeah, it does them all at once, so that's a little bit quicker. But you're going to get that warning when you hit any of these to zero them out. You're going to get this warning, and you have to confirm it. Uh, before you start. 
So now that we've got our work coordinates set there, let's load in a program. We'll go to File Load, which is the next tab over. We will go to the folder here, and now it's reading off this SD card, and it says the file in the SD card, and it's just got that one, so we'll highlight it, hit Load File, and now it's loaded in there. And now we can hit Run, and again, it comes up with this pre-launch checklist, so you got to check all this stuff. Uh, I have already know that I'm in the right spot, so I'm just going to hit Confirm All, and then hit Next, and it will start off and run your program. Here you can see that it's also uh, got your time cutting. It's counting down the time. Also has time remaining, and also has your percentage. Uh, of how much your programs run. It's got all your uh, DRO readouts here pretty much of where it is. Uh, I'm not sure how good a real time that is because it's on Wi-Fi and not, uh, not hardwired hard in. You can also come to your console and see it scrolling past as it's reading the lines. You can also pause this. Notice that the machine pauses, but the spindle doesn't stop. So it's, you got to remember that it's just for uh, to pause the machine. So then you can hit uh, run again to start it back. And then if you do need to stop it, you can hit the stop button. But you have to remember that when you hit it, it doesn't stop it right away. It comes up and asks you to confirm something. So if you confirm it, then it will shut off. It also has an outline feature where you can kind of, uh, similar to a frame setting in uh, a laser, it'll go around the edge of the job so you can see where you're at. Uh, you can run your, uh, I haven't put them in there yet, but you can run your uh, probe. Uh, I haven't put the settings in to work that uh, yet, but you can run your probe, Z-axis probe off of, off of here. So pretty much everything you can do off of uh, a computer, you can do with uh, right here on a device like this, which in my case happens to be a smartphone. My biggest problem that I had installing this was uh, and I'll mention this only because uh, I'm an old fart and my vision is not what it used to be, but the print on here is so small. And most of this, if I hold it just right and I've got my glasses on, I can read it. But the parts where it's telling you how to configure the app, it'll say, for example, right here, it will say when the wireless module lights up in blue, click, and then it's got blacked out with a word in there, but there's no way I can read that word. It's so tiny. Uh, I had to go inside and download the instructions onto a my big computer and then blow up the screen so that I could read what it actually said. So that uh, that would be one downside. Now again, if you're a young buck and it's got 20-20 vision, probably not a big deal. But for somebody old like me that's got glasses, this, these instructions are way too small for me to, uh, to be able to read it. Uh, once I was able to see what they were asking me to do, then it wasn't uh, too hard to understand. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, this is a pretty cool little feature. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, maybe I'm just so old school because I always have had a dedicated computer uh, to each machine. Uh, and I like them when they're not connected to the internet, so you don't have to worry about viruses or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, maybe I'm just old school. If you can think of a good uh, use case thing where this would really uh, be helpful, please leave a comment down below in the uh, comment section. Let me know. Maybe there's something I'm missing. But really, the only thing I can see is that if you didn't have a computer at all, uh, you could get one of these which I think these are going to retail for about 35 bucks uh, and then use your computer in your house or, or whatever 
put your programs on your SD card and come in and then that way you could run your uh, run your CNC machine without a computer at all just by using your smart device here so uh, that other than that I can't think of anything that would be useful but I might like I said I might be missing something so if you could think of something uh, that it would make it really useful please leave a comment down below in the description so anyway that's going to do it for this one if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube channel please think about doing so and please make sure you leave it a thumbs up if you got anything out of this and until the next time thank you very much for watching